Hey everyone, it's Rachel. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create beehive lips using the Color Therapy app. If you want to follow along, search for this image under Bee Lips. This tutorial is really easy to achieve if using this template. You can also manually add in your own honeycombs other images in the app using these steps. You just have to draw the honeycombs manually. All right, let's start off with some base colors for our image. So let's use the autumn palette. Let's set it to gradient. So I'll use the first color on the second row of that palette and making sure the gradient is lighter in the middle and it's a radial gradient. And I'm just gonna tap in a few of the honeycombs. I'm also gonna use the last color on the first row just to tap in a few other ones there for some variety. You can also tap in your bees with that yellow too and then you can use black for their heads, solid black and the stripes. All right, so in that same palette, let's set it to solid. I'm gonna use the very first color and then go to the airbrush tool. Let's set the size to 12 and opacity at 35. Let's have coloring inside the lines mode set to off and we're gonna shade the lip edges. So I'm just shading the inside edges as well as, so right above where the teeth are is where, where the mouth opens up, just kind of loosely. Now scroll over to the Shabby Chic palette, which is just right next to it. And I'm just using this light yellow on the second row to tap in the lines between the honeycombs. Now you can also lower your stroke opacity just to see how it's looking. Now with the airbrush tool, let's do size eight opacity at 40. Let's use that first color on the autumn palette again, and then coloring inside the lines mode set to on. And let's just trace all the right sides of the honeycombs for some shadow. So inside each honeycomb, just add in that shadow on the right side also apply to the dripping honey too. All right, now let's use a dark brown. So let's same palette, fourth color from the right on the top row, size 16 and opacity 35. And let's do coloring inside the lines mode off. We're gonna shade inside the lips now. So just right above where the mouth is opening up, just shade, add a nice shadow there where the template is showing it. Same with the bottom of the lip as well. add a few layers. Now let's use the second color on the second row of that autumn palette. We'll do coloring inside the lines mode back on and we'll just color in some of the honeycombs. So you can just randomly choose a few to add some of this like darker orange into. Just you can shade part of it, not the whole thing, just some edges of it. Now let's lower the size down to one and go back and using that dark brown again, let's shade some of the inside edges of those honeycombs. So you're gonna just trace around the inside edges and you can make some of the edges a little bit thicker. And you don't have to apply it to all of them. This is good for variation, just to mix it up. Some of the honeycombs are filled with lots of honey, some are not. Makes it look more realistic. Now with those same settings, let's use white. And you wanna set the coloring inside the lines mode to off, and then let's add a little bit of shine with white. So just a little highlight kind of scribbling across the lips on the top, and then also on the bottom too, some little scribbles, just up and down. Then raise the opacity to 100 and size at one, and you can add even more harsher highlights. You'll also wanna add those to the honey that's dripping down. So I would do coloring inside the lines mode on, and if just add in some little highlights and then use the smear tool to blend it really softly. So you do size at one and intensity at 100 and just kind of softly blend it. So now you'll wanna color the whole face and softly blend and shade the rest of it. And don't forget to add some realism to the bees as well. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.